All right, what is going on, you guys? It's the Bandit here, and today we're gonna have a little Minecraft Christmas special. It's kind of like the Halloween special over there. Look at this place. <laughs> the Christmas texture pack makes it look so weird. Um, <laughs> it really does. It, uh, yeah, makes the pumpkin look like a gigantic snowball with a stick coming out of it for some reason, and kind of weird looking. Um, I liked it a lot better when it was <laughs> when it was the Halloween texture pack. It looks really nice in the Halloween texture pack. Um. But yeah, here we are over here by my house, and right on top of my house here, we're going to go ahead and go back here, and here is our train station that is going to go over there, and I don't have a sign. Why is that blocking the... <laughs> this lapis block is shaking so hard whenever I put my aimer on the sign. Alright, now it's good. Now the chest is shaking. What the heck? Okay, now we have a sign. So, uh, all aboard to the Christmas Forest, which is basically our winter wonderland in some hidden place. Now, since this is the Christmas special, you know, obviously I have a, I have to have a little train thing, obviously, like for, you know, the Halloween special, I had that too. You gotta have one for, oh, I'm still in creative mode. Just put that back. But I always like the little trains and stuff. It's not really a roller coaster here, but it's still a nice little thing to get us over there. Um. It's always kind of a cool touch. I wanted to make some type of attraction for this, so I thought, you know, getting there to this weird enchanted forest far away would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> going through these walls of water here. You guys see that? That was kind of difficult to make, especially when I'd pop open the top roof right there and it would hit water, but... Uh, yeah. Really nice little train ride. Um, so here we are. Welcome to the Christmas Tree Farm. I didn't really know what to make, name this. I th I'm pretty sure they're called Christmas Tree Farms, but... Um, yeah. Normally when we have people here, we'll, you know, have the operator inside open the gate, so... Let's have him open the gate for us. And there we go. It has opened. Thank you, little person inside there. Can you close it for us, too? There we go. Thank you. Alright, so that works out. Um, here's our gigantic tr Christmas tree that kind of showcases this place, um, can be seen from quite a ways, you know, it's a nice little touch to it, um, all these little presents stacked up around the bottom here, really nice, almost forgot, just gotta have a little bit of snow, make it that much better. So yeah, here is where you come to pay after you get your Christmas tree and stuff, um, where you pay, when you find your Christmas tree, pay here. Pay with gunpowder. Small is 15, medium 25, large is 35, and with decorations is 5 bucks extra, and I'll show you what that means. This is more like decorations, you know, we got the little vines coming down from all over, and they're starting to hook onto that tree. But, that tree's the only one that's not for sale, it's just kind of a show tree made by Robbie. Did a really nice job on that, thank you. Uh, we got all these different styles and types of trees around here. A little ice lake to keep them all nice and, you know, fresh. Uh, back over here we got these little tiny trees, like the little tiny Charlie Brown trees, stuff like that. The bigger trees, those are the biggest over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, or these ones, these ones over here are pretty good size too. That one. Yeah, it's a nice little Christmas tree farm over here. Um, basically how we do it is, like, whoever orders a Christmas tree, you know, we can just have them pay a little bit of gunpowder here, and then, you know, basically my plan is to, like, whenever someone orders a Christmas tree, which they haven't yet, but I just built this today. Um, you know, I can break this down and then just remember kind of what it looks like, maybe take a couple pictures of it, go into their house and rebuild it the way it was, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to be in creative mode to do that because of the leaves and stuff, you know, it's gonna decay, but... Yeah, I think it'll work out good. Um, all these little things don't have anything in them, just kind of neat little present chest stacked all around here. Um, normally, you know, we can, I guess we can see what's inside of here. You can easily just go inside here, see? And you go around and you got this little switch right here, that's where the operator guy opens that gate. As you saw, we got this where the extra decorations are stored, just in case, you know, you won't want to 
those trees, and then you want to put decorations on them. Uh, the stars are made out of glowstone. You got some chests for presents. Really nice texture pack. I really do like this texture pack, though. Uh, this is made out of diamond, by the way. If you guys don't know this texture pack too much. Yeah, it's just a really nice... The iron bars look really cool. Look like little, you know, got little frilly things around them, stuff like that. And, yeah, we can get back outside. It's pretty simple like that. Um, yeah, I just thought up, you know, I thought I might as well just make this little thing for Christmas. And, yeah, I'll put a nice little roller coaster. We'll go ahead and ride that thing back all the way, because it's kind of nice run riding it both ways. It's got different views from each angle, you know. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, just another addition. I'm hoping to do this for, like, quite a few different holidays. I mean... I don't know what other ones that I could do a really good one for other than Halloween and Christmas because of, you know, Christmas is like, you get all these trees and stuff like that, presents, um, Halloween, it's, you know, pumpkins, things like that, pumpkin carving materials, which can't make those in Minecraft. I guess I could have put cheers, but it might be a good idea for next time. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other holidays that I could do, you know, little patches for like this, they're, oh god, they're actually kind of fun, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, if you guys any, know any of, like, other holidays, you know that these things would be possible, yeah, just let me know. Um, so yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed, Merry Christmas, um, thanks for sticking around, and yeah, this Christmas tree was built for you guys. I'm gonna get the train ride back, and talk to you later.